Welcome to our new crib. I feel like Emma Chamberlain. Hi, AD. I'm Emma Chamberlain, and welcome to my house. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Please come in. Yeah, as I said, I'm moving this weekend, and right now I don't have Wi-Fi, so I guess I'll just keep packing right now because I already moved the Wi-Fi to the new place. It's gonna be so tiring moving boxes and moving all the heavy stuff. Today, my feminist ass is gonna leave my body because I'm gonna rely on my brother and dad to be bringing the heavy stuff. But yeah, I know it's so annoying for me to be saying this, but I'm so excited to be moving because I really need a change of scenery. I officially graduated one month ago, but I've finished university since four months ago. Oh my gosh, I've been jobless for four months. Girl, I suffered in this freaking room. I really feel so unmotivated and just not inspired for two years of online school and I was just organizing my photos. I have so many breakdown and crying selfies. Like every few weeks, I would have a crying selfie. So I'm so happy to be having this change of scenery. I'm gonna be packing the rest of the stuff in my room. That's it, that's the update. <laughs> kind of boring, but. later and yes I have pink hair <laughs> whenever I watch moving vlogs I was like girl why didn't you film the actual interesting part like moving stuff but then I moved and now I understand why because it's so freaking tiring it's actually a new house not a loft I think in the title I'm gonna be putting moving into my own loft but technically it is because my room right now is a loft it has two floors my bed is upstairs and my work area and sofa and all clothes, all the stuff are here in the first floor. I have a bigger space now. I, like, I have two floors, dude. So best believe for the past three months, I've been so addicted to Instagram and Shopee and Lazada. 
am so happy about. It's a couch, like dark green, sage green. That's my new favorite color right now. I'm so happy, like. I literally waited to unbox so many things that I got just so I can put it here in the vlog. Then I begged my mom if she can split the price with me. That's when I realized, oh my gosh, home stuff are so freaking expensive. Like, <laughs> curves, orange, red, green, yellow, brown are gonna be the highlights of my view. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is that one here and I thought I was going to regret it but no, it's the one of my best purchases along with the couch because it's so cute, like it's such a cute accent and this is where I plan to put like my vanity stuff I put a mirror here beside it I don't know if you can see it right now but yeah and you guessed it, it's curved Here above me, can you see it? <gasps> oh! I'm trying to go for like a mid-century, colorful, funky type of room. I just love this whole section, like the red here, the yellow. And the next is actually the sponsor of today's video. A few items that I picked out and I'm so excited. They're from Grove Maine. So I got sent three things. It's their desk shelf or desk riser, monitor riser. It's so long and I'm so excited because I have a PC and a MacBook. Then we have another thing which complements the desk shelf riser I just showed you guys and it's gonna be like a drawer inside of that desk shelf so that it's organized. Oh yeah, I haven't actually introduced who Grove Made is but basically they're an online store which I'll put the link below for you guys for the items that I got and also for their website and they basically have all of your working slash studying needs because they have like as I said desk shelf, desk organizer, monitorizer, pencil organizers slash cases, stands and a lot more stuff. They all have that industrial slash wood aesthetic if you guys are going for that which I'm also going for in this room. They came at the perfect time. I'm gonna ask help from my dad to like put it up this wall behind me or that wall above my desk. I'm so excited to organize my desk, my room with all the cute stuff I got from Grubmaid and also the stuff I bought myself that are so expensive oh my gosh okay so now i'm just gonna give like a quick rundown of the other things i bought this one is another shelving unit from an instagram thrift shop yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do with that but it's just gonna stay there this one oh my gosh this is also my other favorite along with the couch it's another shelving unit i have way too many shelves guys like I just realized when I moved in that, oh my gosh, I bought so many shelves. But anyways, you gotta do what you gotta do. I just love the curve and I wanted it that yellow color from like Pinterest. <laughs> Another trolley that I kind of regret. But you know what? I'm gonna figure out what I want to do with that. Probably stationary. And then this one, another drawer organizer. And I just love that it's wood. I wanted to buy the metal basic one from Shopee, but this one is more unique looking i bought a standing desk and i got it from stance but yeah it's manual adjusting because the electric one is way too freaking expensive like i'm not gonna pay for that like i can just do it myself and it works the same way so i got it in white and the tabletop i had it customized with my dad like we didn't use the tabletop that it comes with because i prefer this color like i didn't really like the tabletop options Stance gave us in the website, so I wanted like the walnut color. So my dad got me made one for me and just installed it himself. So I almost forgot, but I got this clock from Handyman. I just love the burnt orange color. I think it matches with the other stuff in my room, and it looks retro. And then one last thing, this um, bench that I also got from another Instagram thrift shop and I just really love the color green guys it's staying here upstairs for now this is my loft <laughs> as you can see it's not that organized yet so yes this is the overview of my room which is so messy right now but organize my desk first so that I can put the two things I got from Grove Made already and so that I can freaking work on YouTube and all the other stuff I need to do. For the past four days, I haven't opened my PC or laptop at all.
sorry. This time, I want to challenge myself. Try to take care of real plants. We use this cute rectangle thing. I just got home. So I went to the derma and then I figured like I'm outside so why not just go to the mall and buy some a mini haul. I have way too many green things. Tissue roll <laughs> holder. A uh, door hook so I can put like my bags. Hopefully this fits my door. Because the one I had doesn't. More wall hooks. I love wall hooks so much. An organizer. I know I already have like two boxes of organizers I can use, but I just love the texture of this. Landmark haul. I saw this one from a video that someone recommended for bleached hair. So, and then this one's from Human Nature. I wanted a shampoo that strengthens and repairs my hair while not using lots of chemicals. And I heard Human Nature has a lot of natural ingredients, so hopefully this works. Their shampoo. Okay, that's the end of the haul. I'm gonna continue organizing my room today. And the game plan is... I don't know actually, so we'll figure it out. because my parents are not at home and my brother is sleeping so I can talk as much as I want right now. House next door is being constructed. I'm probably gonna endure that construction noise for the next year. Okay, let's go outside. This is the pedestrian gate. And then when you walk up here, um, just some chairs for the guests and more chairs to sit on and some plants. I don't know if this is open. Oh, it's not open. Anyways. This is the door to the laundry area, but we'll go there later. Then this is the main door. Then here is the garden. And the grass hasn't really grown yet. That's why it looks like that. My mom loves plants. And you're gonna see our recurring theme of so many plants in the house. And here's our other dog. The bigger dog, if you guys don't know her, she is Hamale. And she's just free to walk wherever in the ground floor. Yes. And when you pass through here is the garage. Ta -da! And trash that we have yet to discard because we're still moving. Molly again following me. The storage area. But anyways, yeah, more cabinets. Decorative plant. Okay, let's go inside. This one's the door from the garage and I like that. It's like see-through and windows. So it lets natural light in and now <laughs> we're inside the house there's gonna be like a very long hallway the one at the end of the hallway here leads up to the house but let's go here first so in this part of the hallway these are the cabinets from the old house so we just dumped it there and here is the laundry area which is not organized at the moment someone's laundry is a dryer washing machine and some more cabinets all over a sink and i forgot this stairs also leads up to the leads up to the kitchen while this one the stairs here le leads up to the other bedrooms and the living room but it all basically goes up the same floor so if you can't tell already my mom's theme is like european slash french 
Mm, I'm not the interior designer is not here, aka my mom, so I can't really explain it. And this is another tiny hallway. Ta-da! I like the door here. This is basically like a guest bathroom because there's another room here. And this is for the guests. It's not organized at the moment. Here is the built-in cabinets. I also love that our lights like switch from orange to off-white to white. Yay! Okay, anyways, back to this hallway. So it leads up to the other part of the laundry. And I don't know what my mom plans to do here, but this is our old washing machine. Sink, some hangers, and mga basahan. Ayan. There's some cute little windows so you can see the other main laundry area. Oh no, it's locked. And then this is the shoe closet. Okay, this is the main door and then some more storage space. And here's the stairs that I said that leads up to the living room. <laughs> I'm so tired. But then when you walk up the stairs, this is like the console table here, which my mom had custom made. A nice circle mirror plant and some sitting area. Come on, come here. Now I can enter the actual house. Charlie's just here waiting for me to come up. It has that French door thingy again. But I love curves so much. And here are the lights. Ding, ding, ding. Let's open it. Um, yeah. And my mom had them put like nice details to add more like European slash French vibes. Look at that. Yes, I love it. Here to the left, the living area. We just have more storage to display stuff, to hide stuff away, and to put our TV. And as you can see, it has more curves. My mom's hobby is like interior design. She's an accountant, pretty different from her career. Oh yeah, by the way, I didn't show it, but this is Charlie's little corner, supposed to be here. Her dog toy, her medical supplies, dog leash, and this is all of her toys. Oh my gosh, she's so pampered. Fun, but yeah, this is the living room. Couch, more chairs, lamp, more chairs beside the sofa and a table. And just here beside the TV is the little small balcony. Yay, fun. And some more plants, the windows. And beside the sofa is my mom's office. Soon to be office space. Right now, it's empty. This is a desk. Another sofa you can sleep on. Empty aircon. Okay, let's go. A painting, a lamp, a plant, an aircon. And then now, from the door, and you turn right, is the dining area. Ta-da! This is where the lamps my mom got on Shopee or Lazada. And right now, the blinds will remain closed for the next year, I guess, because the construction it's right beside us and we don't want people to see us. But yeah, my mom and I's new addiction are Sevilla patterns. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so hot. More space for guests. Another balcony slash space to eat or gather. Still has those window slash French window vibes. Ta-da! And this one, you can see the stairs. Okay, anyways, from the door, and straight here is the kitchen. This is where I actually eat rather than the dining table because it's way more close to the food. I like the bar stools over the normal chairs. More storage, a lot of storage. Look at that, like dude, so much storage. And my mom is so freaking fancy. She got like wine refrigerator, an oven, stove, dishwashing area and my mom bought a dishwasher like what the heck bro we are an asian household why would you do that and now to my right as you can see there are more doors and this is another mirror i love the details so much dude this door leads to the cr for the second floor it's so pretty like what the heck this is the prettiest bathroom i've ever seen so thanks to my mom for designing this at first it doesn't look like a door but it actually is like my relatives did not notice it at first but when you open it it leads up downstairs to the laundry area this is the third door in this freaking corner 
but we mostly have it open because this is the pantry. This is the pantry. This one is another sink, like a dirty kitchen sink. And this is like where all the cleaning supplies will be. Not right now because it's not organized yet. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. All the food that we have. I love it so much. Like our old pantry, I couldn't see what food we have and what snacks we have because it's all like jumbled. But I can't see and then they end up expiring because I keep forgetting that I have this, I, that I bought this kind of snack or food. Now everything's displayed and out in the open. Over here are more cleaning supplies. Okay, now let's go upstairs to our rooms. Another favorite part is like the high ceilings for the stairs. Like, bro, this is the stairs going to our rooms and it goes all the way up there, the ceiling, glass ceiling thingy, so that we still get natural sunlight in the day. Like, this is the perfect spot. Like, look at the natural sunlight. I love, I love it, I love it. And this one on the right, the big ass cabinet, is our linen closet. Yeah, we're gonna put all the bed sheets, towels here. And then there's another door here on the right and it leads to my parents balcony and it's messy right now these are all the packages i unboxed stairs and then there's this long hallway that one leads up to the very top floor sorry for all of my boxes like i haven't really finished unpacking so this is my room this is my parents room the balcony i showed you guys earlier in their bed then it has two compartments two windows then from the left it's their walk-in closet and bathroom this side is my mom's it literally goes from the floor to the ceiling and i'm so jealous like and this is my dad's the door to their cr Ta um, glass shower it. Now my room and it, disclaimer it's so messy right now. When you see my room and you go look up, that's the loft. Yay! Let's go. This is a bench I bought. My bed, bedside table, lamp, window, window, and the Wi-Fi router. Yay! And then this area is the stairs that leads up to the top floor and also have my own access to the top floor like my brother. Ta-da! Probably put a tent or a table so that we can chill with our family or friends. That's the spiral staircase I showed you guys earlier. It leads up to this water tank. And then that's another bathroom with a shower and toilet. And then the room here beside me is my brother's. So I think he's sleeping right now. I'm not gonna show you guys my brother's room because it's basically the same layout as mine. Mine's just a bit bigger. <laughs> Favorite child things and i'm lobot right now so what a great way and perfect timing to end the videos thank you for watching this video and please stick around because right now my house and room is messy but it will be beautiful soon and i'm gonna make a lot of makeover videos and decoration organization videos so yes bye